What's up guys, Warren, Divine Audio Visual, back with another video, and today we've got something extremely cool for you. Let's get into it right now. All right, guys. Boom, right there. 130 inch curved, acoustically transparent, screened by Divine Audio Visual. This theater is freaking awesome. We've got some really cool stuff to show you on it. So, 4K projection. So we got 4K enhanced projection from Epson. This is the Epson 4050 projector. We've got Pro 14 RWs in the wall for our side surrounds. We've got Pro 16s properly positioned for our rear surrounds. We've got them on the sides because it's best for this individual area. We've got Pro 160s on the ceiling. We have a Yamaha 2080, that's an RXA 2080 receiver. And something extremely cool behind this screen. And I'm gonna hand it over to Derek right now so he can take you through the process of how we got to this point and what we put back there. Let's get it going. Thanks, Warren. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pass it back to Pass Derek right now. Let me just rip the sheetrock off these walls and go back in time. What is up, guys? Derek with Divine AV here, and we have an awesome project we're working on today. I'm actually uh, in the field up here in the attic. I'm running him a Cat 5 back over, but this is a full home theater. So, yeah, Mercedes, go ahead. Show them the, the front stage there, the platform right there. That's where they're going to have three 8,000 Fs, and then there's going to be a custom-built 12-inch Divine AV subwoofer that's going to push about 800 watts. So that's going to be a big boy right there. You can show them this projection booth right here. Um, there's our raceway tube up there. So I ran that raceway tube up to the projector. If you're ever running these tubes, make sure you don't do super hard bends. You see it sweeps there, sweeps this way, and then sweeps right back in. Uh, if you do a hard bend when you try to run your fish tape through that or run any wires through it, they'll get stuck around the corners. So if you are running any raceway, do that right. Um, got 10 wires coming out of this box right here so this main box is uh, the th four wires running the front stage three 14 gauge for the towers and then uh, one 14 gauge for the subwoofer I got an additional sub cable right here for uh, the smaller sub that I'm gonna put in and then there's a cat 5 that we ran from the rack downstairs up to here so that's for his internet connection this would be a freaking beast coming through that screen uh, I got the side surrounds wired right up here. It's kind of a weird situation with this slant. So I'm planning on Pro 14s, little four inch uh, reference premier clip speakers up there and there. And then your sides are gonna be here, right there. And then, yes, yeah, two overheads. Overhead there, overhead there. We are back here. Cody's getting the overheads put in. They already got them. NFL 2020, let's go! <laughs> I'm leaving that in there. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. One of the cutest puppies in the world. Yes, he is. Yes, you are. So sweet, you've gotten so big. We have to do it now. <laughs> Team lift, you ready? Let's go at the same time, right here. Ooh. All right. It weighs about one of 5,000 two weights. Yeah. Just about. <laughs> 14 pounds. Alright, hold on. You got it? You got it? I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Actually, this is really helpful. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, so as you can see, we have three Klipsch RP-8000F tower speakers. This is the ideal situation. We have massive power from the center channel because we have such a large center channel speaker. The same exact speakers on the right and the left, so we have perfect timber matched sound. It is absolutely incredible. Uh, as for the subwoofer, that is a custom DAV sub. What we've done is we've taken a JL Audio subwoofer, we've put it in a custom built and custom coated box. That box is tuned at 42 hertz. 
I cannot explain how much bass is in this room. This thing dominates compared to all the other home subwoofers on the market in that price range. Call us if you guys are interested in having us build a sub for you. All right, as far as mounting that subwoofer, we have bolted the subwoofer from the inside of the box to four different studs using three inch lag bolts. It can be hung from, and Derek did hang from it a couple of times there. That's Derek hanging on it. So that is our incredible front stage. So much power in this space. It is an amazing cinematic experience. We've done some acoustic treatments in the back of the room. So Derek came in and actually put some foam in the corners here on both corners of the space. This was a difficult room. This was an attic uh, that we had converted. So the client got a contractor to come and actually reframe the whole room, sheetrock it. Um, we worked with the positioning the best we could. Derek came in and did all the pre-wiring, of course. Um, he got these speakers in the ideal position for this individual environment. So a lot of challenges with acoustics. So you see that that one had to be placed a bit higher. Obviously with the custom RTA calibration, we were able to balance them exactly from the center seat position. So we have perfect balance in sound pressure level. You've got your rears, which we've placed on the sides and we've placed them at a lower level on purpose to make them sound like they're further back from the listening position. That worked out exceedingly well. Uh, this big opening here is nice because it just, you know, feels like uh, you got this kind of man cave area here. Uh, it's a really cool, relaxed spot. And yet the sound, the experience is totally incredible. So 131 inch custom. Um, that we talked about earlier, LED lighting kit on it. Uh, it's, it's a masterpiece, guys. It is perfect, flawless curvature. All right, so I'm gonna hand it over to Derek. He's gonna get you guys started with some demonstration. Thanks, Warren. Um, yeah, before we get right into demos and stuff, I just wanted to, to touch base a little bit. I really love his light fixtures here. So Warren will show you right there. I'll show you a close up because he's got another one in the closet. So you double tap them and they give this kind of sconce, beautiful overglow. Uh, I'm gonna get the link from him and put it in the description because he found these fixtures. I love them. I'm going to put them in my own home when I build my home theater setup, which I'll be showing to you guys, Warren. I will get that video out because he's gonna help me custom design my new room in our new house. Uh, but yeah, here's one of these guys up close. Sorry to blind you. They're really, really cool fixtures. I'll go ahead and we'll put that link in the description so you guys can pick those up if you like them. Um, yeah, everything was wired back to this rack as you saw in the past look of Derek's past self. We saw all that. So yeah, it was all wired perfectly. This room was awesome, super easy for the whole crew to install in here because we knew where everything was. And uh, yeah, we had a blast on this project. If you guys aren't subscribed, subscribe. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video. And without further ado, let's get right into some demonstrations. Hey guys, uh, so that was an absolute blast. Such cool demonstration of this room. The power from those towers and that subwoofer, it gets you that chest slam and just rocks your socks. So we had an 
absolute blast. Um, if you're new to the channel, smash the like, hit it, give us a subscribe, check out the rest of our channel. We've got a lot of installation videos um, that we've already done. We've got some tech with a tech and we have a lot, lot, lot more installations coming your way very soon. So stay tuned. A lot of cool 13 channel systems we're working on and then maybe give you a little hint on a 15 channel system that's coming soon. So yeah, stick around. We'll see you in the next one. That's cool.